All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, it's another product from PNS. And man, I'll tell you what, so far I like them all. This is PNS Rags to Riches Premium Microfiber Detergent. Now, anybody that's watching this channel, I guarantee you, you have some microfiber towels. Now, there are other DIY solutions to do this. So keep in mind, you could always use like a, a laundry detergent that has no fabric softener, none of that other stuff in it, and things will work just fine. But why not use the proper product? And that's what we have here today. So. PNS rags to riches, what their claim to fame is, is that uh, on these towels that we use, like let's say we use bead maker on the car, then we put it on the towel, now the towel starts to have hydrophobic properties and will not dry the car. It just starts smearing water around. Now most of our products have this, bead maker, VRP, CarPro Pearl 303, they all are designed to repel things off of the surface we put them on, so there's no doubt that that's gonna happen on the towels too. So PNS Rags to Riches claims to be able to break that down, get the microfiber towel restored and back to brand new again, and I wanna see it. Now, this is what I have after a typical car detail, you know, various different color towels, but that's not what I wanna show you. These are be too easy to clean. <laughs> Here's some all-purpose towels that I have that I clean up my shop with and everything else. And man, I'll tell you right now, they're nasty, man. So I'm gonna put this PNS Rags to Riches to the test. Now, admittedly, there's gonna be some stains in there that won't come off. I'm just telling you right up front, but I wanna see it break down the majority of this because there's no way to show you, yeah, this towel, it looks pretty darn good as is. I mean, if I put that through the wash, I'm not gonna be able to show you what it does. So I'm gonna hit you with a, a full-blown disaster microfiber towel test. And let's start off with what does a PNS claim that this product will do? It's a next generation technology. Now I have no idea what that means, but it better mean it's gonna clean the, the stuff off the towels. <laughs> Deep cleans and restores, now we're talking. I want this stuff off the towels and I want them to be back to brand new again so I can put them on my shelf and use them confidently next time. Highly concentrated. Man, all PNS's products, I gotta tell you, they're all awesome. They're, they're highly dilutable and they last a long time. So I'm not surprised that it's highly concentrated. Safe on all fabric. So again, I'm not gonna have any way to test every single fabric, but the ones I care about are the microfiber towels and things that we're gonna use for detailing. So I'm gonna test it on those. Okay, so on the directions, it states that we're gonna use one ounce for a, a normal size load and two ounces for a large load. It also has some further recommendations for heavily soiled microfibers. So it says if they're heavily soiled that we wanna put one to two ounces into a bucket and pre-soak them. I'm gonna give them an honest time to pre-soak because I really want this to be successful. So uh, let's go ahead and mix up the pre-soak and get started on that. Brand new, brand new. Eh, not much of a smell to it, just kind of a little on the chemical-y side, but that's all right. So we're going to go two ounces because these are nasty. And a tiny bit extra. Okay, so we'll pour that into the bucket. Put our super dirty microfiber towels in there and fill it up with water. I don't want to put too much in it. I want enough water to cover the towels, but I want the maximum amount of product uh, to be saturating into it. So I'll bring it up until there's a little bit over top. All right, so now that they're soaking, I'm gonna leave them in there for at least an hour, maybe two hours to try to really give the product time to break down some of that grease and grime. And um, once that's complete, we'll head into the washing machine. All right. Okay, so while that's soaking in the bucket, I want to uh, just give you my one, two, three on microfiber towels. So the way I like to handle my microfiber towels is I like to keep them all separated by the task that I use them for. Now my orange ones are bead maker, my black ones are wheels and tires, my blue ones are generally interior and uh, plastics and stuff like that, and my yellow ones are all purpose. I'll wipe up a floor mat, I'll wipe up a mess, I'll even use them here in the garage. So they're more of a utility towel. Now, I bought a bunch of these nylon bags, which I think are handy. I put them all in there separated because what I don't want is I don't want my wheels towels getting uh, mixed up in the bag with my 
uh, with my paint protectant towels and then next thing you know I'm smearing out all my paint. So this also goes into like some people would ask like like why do you need so many microfiber towels? Now it's very difficult to do a load of towels with only two towels. What if I use two towels on my on my wash job? You know that's not much of a load. So the, the really neat way to do it, you know, money permitting obviously, is you have enough of them so that you can dry them and store them in the bag until you get a reasonable load, then you take them in and do a load. So that's what I tend to do. I'll maybe do two or three washes, I'll end up with enough to do a pretty small load and then I'll go in there and do them. Now another thing to consider, microfiber towels are very, very, very fine fibers, so they melt really easy. Some of the, uh, the temperatures that I've heard used about 140 degrees, they start to melt, then they get hard and brittle and they could scratch the paint. So in my opinion, I would use uh, cool water or very, very lightly warmed water, both uh, when you're out here uh, soaking them in the bucket and or in the washing machine. Not only that, but when I'm drying them in the dryer, I would do very low heat or air dry. I'd use low heat, but if you're unsure whether or not your low heat's low enough, then just air dry them. So that's pretty much um, all I got to say about microfiber care. And that's how I take care of mine. And they've lasted me a very long time and they're still like new. And now that we got this PNS rags to riches, I'm hoping that I can bring these back to brand new and just keep them going, keep them going. And then over time, I buy a little bit more of each color and it just promotes that situation where uh, I'll end up with a full load prior to having to do a, a, a wash load. So, all right. Let's get in there and put them in the washing machine and see what happens. So right off the bat, man, that is really chocolate milk. So man, this product is really breaking down that dirt and grime. So let's let it soak for a little bit longer and then we'll put it in the washing machine. All right, so the soaking is over. We're in at the washing machine now and it's time to put the towels in there. So let's go ahead and get it open. Load them in. Now we'll put our PNS into the detergent area. Now we're going to go with a normal wash cycle. Let's do warm and cold because I know this washing machine. You know what? I'm going to do a second rinse on this one. So that's pretty much it. So 54 minutes and we'll be back and see what it looks like. Okay, so they're all finished. Let's pull them out. Wow, right off the bat, man, I can tell you, they're looking pretty, pretty rejuvenated, pretty awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and throw them in the dryer. And throw them in there. Okay, so dryer setting. We're gonna go with on, and we're gonna go on low heat. And I would say with these microfiber towels, we don't need much more than about 30 minutes on really low heat. All right, let's get it started. All right, so they're fresh out of the dryer. They're warm and they feel great. I'll tell you what, man, it did a pretty darn good job. Look at that. I mean, some of these were just beyond recognition. That one looks pretty darn new. This one's got a little bit of discoloration, but man, these were incredibly stained and they're looking decent. Now this one has a stain that's just not going to come out no matter what. So I'm not going to hold that against the product. And we could just go on and on. They look decent. These were totally thrashed. Now one thing I can tell you was when I put these into the washing machine, I didn't have any gloves on when I did that. And I'll tell you what, man, my hands are dry as a bone. So this is some powerful stuff, guys. Make sure you wear your gloves when you're using it. But overall, I have to say, man, it brought the towels back to really good condition. I'm really surprised with it. I recommend it 100%. The PNS rags the riches, man. It held up to everything that it said it would. So that's a good thing. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, man, that button is right there just waiting for you. It's asking you to subscribe. <laughs> so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join us on all of our future videos. We love having you. And I'll put links to all my um, favorite microfiber towels and of course to the PNS rags and riches down in the description. If you wanna click on those and check it out, we appreciate that also. And um, also, I don't know if you've noticed, but 
it's cold in here. It's 70 degrees. I got a really neat video coming up. I wasn't able to put it out, man. It's been torrential downpours here in Hawaii. If anybody's watched the news and uh, there's some major flooding down the road, it's not at my house, but real close by. So we've had really, really bad weather. So I wasn't able to put out the big video that I wanted, but I'm 95% done and you're going to get to see it next week for sure. So I thought I'd come through and put out one of my uh, product review videos for you. And with that being said, We'll see you on the next one. We appreciate you coming. Yeah. Oh, one last thing. This product, oh, this product is great. I love it a lot, yeah.